ChatGPT can now talk. This is one of the latest features from OpenAI. But the question is, can it only speak English or will it also be able to speak other languages? Maybe even dialects. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a fun experiment that combines technology, language and a bit of my own culture. As some of you may know, I am from Naples and in this video I'm going to test ChatGPT to see if it can keep up with some good old Neapolitan. Shall we go? First of all, let's see how much ChatGPT actually knows about Naples. ChatGPT, can you tell me where Naples is located? Sure. Naples is a city in southern Italy, situated on the west coast by the Gulf of Naples. It's near the famous Mount Vesuvius volcano and close to the beautiful Amalfi Coast. It's a vibrant city known for its rich history, culture and, of course, pizza. Let's make it a bit more challenging. Okay, you mentioned it. There's something unique about Naples. It's the city where pizza was born. But do you know the story? Absolutely. The story of pizza begins in Naples in the 18th century. At that time, flatbreads with various toppings were common among the poor. They were inexpensive and easy to make. The modern pizza as we know it, especially the margarita, was created in 1889 by a Neapolitan pizzaiolo named Raffaele Esposito. He created a pizza with tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil to represent the colors of the Italian flag in honor of Queen Margherita of Savoy's visit to Naples. And that's how the Margherita pizza got its name. That's great! Anything else about Naples or Italy you're curious about? Um, what about the Neapolitan hand gestures? Can you tell me something about that? Neapolitan hand gestures are a fascinating part of the local culture. These gestures are a vibrant and expressive form of nonverbal communication, used to convey a wide range of emotions and messages. For example, there's a gesture for what do you want, where you bring your fingers together, pointing upwards, and move your hand up and down. Another popular one is the chin flick, where you brush the back of your fingers under your chin to indicate indifference or dismissal. These gestures are a fun and integral part of Neapolitan communication, adding a unique flavor to interactions. Looks like ChatGPT knows a lot about my hometown. But now let's move to the real test. Can it actually speak Neapolitan? Okay, let's start with something simple. ChatGPT, how do you say hello, how are you in Neapolitan? In Neapolitan, you'd say ciao, come sta? For hello, how are you? It's a warm and friendly greeting, perfect for starting a conversation in Naples. All right, and are you able to continue the conversation? Sure. After saying ciao, come sta? You could continue with tutta post, which means everything okay? This keeps the conversation going in a casual, friendly way. Would you like to learn more phrases? Yes, please. Great. If someone responds to your greeting, you could say, which means, I've had a rough day. And if you're feeling good, you might say, Sto bono, meaning, I'm fine. It's all about sharing how your day is going. Want to try another one? Okay, but yes, you know I speak Neapolitan, so at the beginning you had to say Ajavut, not Agiavut. Got it. Thanks for the correction. So it's <laughs> Agiavut, not Giornataccia in Neapolitan. It's, Let me know if you want. Yes, actually it's Agiavut, not Giornataccia. Perfect. Agiavut, not Giornataccia. Thanks for helping me get it right. <laughs> Not that bad, but what about singing? Let's see if you really embrace the Neapolitan culture. Can you sing a few lines of O Sole Mio? I can't sing or produce any music, but O Sole Mio is such a beautiful song that truly captures the essence of Neapolitan culture. It's a classic Neapolitan tune that celebrates the beauty of the sunshine. Thanks for joining me on this fun little experiment. 
If you enjoy this and want to see more, make sure to subscribe and drop a comment with your suggestions to challenge ChatGPT. See you next time. Ciao.